This is 13-year-old Darren Neal. He's diagnosed with Cornelia de Lange syndrome, also known as CDLS. This syndrome is a developmental disorder that affects many parts of the body. It is characterized by slow growth, leading to intellectual disability and abnormalities of bones in the arms, hands, and fingers. So this is um, Darren, and I call him Pao Pei. Pao Pei is basically a uh, darling in Chinese. This is the Yu family. Darren lives with his older sister, his father, grandmother and auntie. A few months after Darren was born, his parents got a divorce. Darren has another older sister who has mild autism. She lives separately from the family with another caregiver. My name is Yu Jinxia. I am a bus I am papa. Hospital. It has not been easy for Darren's father. With his unstable and long working hours, time spent with his family is very precious. Sigamansuza Despite Mr. Yeo's busy work schedule, he still keeps a close eye on his son's well-being. Darren's requirements for a strict diet and frequent visits to different specialists often cause a financial strain on the Yeo family. This is Kelly Yeo, Darren's auntie. She is his full-time caregiver. She had decided to take care of Darren when he was just six months old, nearly two months after he got diagnosed with CDLS. Madam Yu has taken care of Darren for the past 13 years. And since then, he has been steadily growing bigger and has also shown a significant increase in his strength. This poses as a challenge to Madam Yeo, who has aged and is no longer as fit and healthy as she once was.
，有时候会咯，有时候会讲，啊，会很累，可是没有办法，我还是要看，还是，就是没有办法，因为家里我觉得哈，只有我可以看的，如果我不可以看他的话，我不懂谁可以看他了。Since 2005, Darren has been attending a special needs school called Ewa. He was referred to the school by KK Hospital after being diagnosed with CDLS. His teachers also um, they mostly teach him like uh, basic stuff like going going to toilet, um, maybe like using money to exchange food or anything. So in in general, is to prep him for like the actual world when he turned 18 and he's out of the school. Uh, he likes to play with mobile phones or iPad. Then every time he gets hold of such more, uh, devices, he will actually like access to YouTube and uh, he will watch like lion dance. And also uh, other than YouTube, he actually like, like photo taking. So he enjoys like taking photo of himself. He also like, like musical instruments or anything that produces music in general. Despite being busy with schoolwork, Ashley still tries her best to make time for her brother. And while family is her priority, Ashley admits that she would not mind having a little more time to herself. At times, uh, when I went out with my friends, and then my auntie will be like, oh, today, by the way, you need to take care of your brother because I'm going out. They'll be like, oh, I need to like quickly make arrangements and all. It's like, oh, sorry, I have to cancel because I need to take care of my brother. I will have to take care of him in the future. So if my future boyfriend or like husband or in-laws don't accept him, then I will not marry. I always tell people, if they want to marry me, then it comes in a package. Ah. So it's a one plus three kind. Yeah, plus my father. Yeah. That's how I've been taught when I was young. Hmm. Often, Darren's actions invite unpleasant reactions from the public. However, Madam Yeo and Ashley choose to ignore this judgmental behaviour as they believe that exposure to the outside world will benefit Darren tremendously in the future. Last year when my auntie brought him to Taiwan, they were on the subway. I think he attacked like a man, then the man was like scolding my auntie for not looking after him. Scolding my brother for not being able to control himself. And then my auntie apologised, then his wife was like, you cannot see that he's a, a child with like problem. I don't know, but I have a problem with people saying that my brother has a problem. Because it's not really a problem, it's just Down syndrome. If I categorise it as problem, it makes him feel that he's, he's had some like mental instability kind. Yeah, so I got a bit offended. Yeah. 有有时候还是会说会生气，是说这些孩子也是有他们的人权嘛。你没可能是说这些孩子，我们不把他带出去走，把他关在家里，你他们也是要出去走嘛。嗯 ，I feel that they don't understand until they encounter or they have these children or like such child. Yeah. Because honestly speaking, I, w I wouldn't understand if my brother is not like that. Yeah. And then um, growing up, I wasn't the most patient person in the house. So whenever he does something wrong, I'll be the first one to beat him or like scold him. But as years go by, I start to understand. Um, and also I attend like his parent-teacher meeting. So his teacher will actually explain to me um, what he does in school and stuff. So I understand and I know that Special child like him really needs a lot, a lot more uh, patience and guidance. There are many similar families in Singapore like Darren's. While the family is still able to take care of the member with such medical condition, the question still remains, what are the prospects of them growing up and being independent? What will happen to the families who can no longer take care of the special needs child? And what would happen to these special needs people when they lose their pillar of support or when they become adults? Thank you, my sister. And I hope you will be able to take care of your sister. After that, I will be able to take care of your sister.
不在的时候，没人照顾别人，所以我们会比较放心，你会全力的照顾别人。我希望别人会乖乖听话。